Graham, not the first time it has happened. The team seems to be struggling to put up uh, decent first innings total. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, we, we've spoken about uh, quite a bit about the importance of, of the first innings and how we need to post a big score. And unfortunately, today, uh, I think perhaps some of the, our decision making wasn't as clear and precise as it should be um, as a batting group and played one or two shots that we perhaps shouldn't have played and uh, found ourselves in trouble and from there it was all about trying to get back into the game uh, which Kumar took the fight up and, and, and almost got us back in at a stage uh, and then uh, the bowling unit I think worked pretty hard at one stage it looked as though they might take it away from us we got back into it a little bit and if we nab those two chances uh, who knows Graham, uh seems the way the Sri Lankans batted today, they don't seem to have learned, although they say they have learned from the first test. I mean, what would you attribute today's uh, batting display to? Well, like I said, I think uh, some of the, there's a bit of indecision in, in, as to what to defend, what to, what to attack and what to leave. Um, you know, it's not a technical thing, it's not an ability thing, uh, and I certainly know it's not a, a work ethic thing. Uh, the guys have worked unbelievably hard and worked very hard on, on uh, skills that are required in these conditions. Uh, once you get out there, though, you've got to have a clear mind and you've got to make uh, good decisions, and uh, I think Kumar showed just how important that is. Uh, Graham, is, was there any sense of, despite their experience, being overawed by the occasion a little bit? Well, you know, that's something that's sort of buzzing around in my mind a little bit is, is I talk about some of the decision making not being quite as, as precise as it should be. And, you know, what contributes to that is, is it's always quite difficult to, to decide what is, has caused that. Um, but some of it uh, could be as a result of it being such a big a occasion and something that the boys have been looking forward to for such a, a long time. And uh, I think the desire to do well is extremely high. Uh, which at times can create a little bit of extra pressure. Graham, uh, were you quite surprised the amount of uh, life this uh, the Melbourne pitch gave on the first day? Um, look, I think it played pretty much like we thought it would. Uh, we knew there would be something in it for the for the new ball, um, and we, uh, seem as you bend their back and, and hit hit the right areas are going to cause a little bit of a problem. But it certainly wasn't. Um, uh, a hugely bowler friendly uh, surface. It was a it was a good fair surface, I thought. Uh, recently, uh, Mahela had some issues with uh, Sri Lanka cricket. Do you think it matters to a uh, player's uh, mindset in this issue? Um, uh, whew, quite a tough one for me to answer, but from what I can see, the players have treated this test match as, uh, as the most important thing uh, and, and ha whatever other issues are going on have been disregarded completely for now. Um, the focus has really been on, on, on the test match, so I'd like to think that everybody's really, I mean, they, they really have been so desperately keen to do well in this Boxing Day test, and it's something that they've really looked forward to, so um, all minds, as far as I know, have been on, on preparing and working towards playing good cricket. Graham, is Dilshan, is he a frustrating player to coach? I mean, he made a great hundred in Hobart, but he often plays very recklessly, it uh, seems. Look, he's a fantastically talented player um, and, and quite often these hugely talented players uh, are able to play shots that, that maybe some of the other players wouldn't, wouldn't look to play. But, um, you know, he's, he's played so many valuable innings uh, along the way and he's just such an important part of the, the team. Um, and, you know, it's, it's always that debate as to just how valuable it is to put bowlers under some pressure as well. And he's got that ability to put bowlers under pressure and, and, and to change the game in that nature. So I would never want to take that away from him. Uh, uh, Mahela's manner of dismissal has already sort of become a familiar one on this tour and on away tests, that, you know, right throughout his career it has been as well. I mean, is, is what, what do you see as a reason for that? Well, you know, again, it gets back to... Um, the decision making as to what to play and what not to play and uh, um, he's such an experienced cricketer that uh, he, he'll work it out along the way. Um, it was a reasonably good delivery that got him today but uh, perhaps you know he might have treated it differently uh, in hindsight having a look at it.
Graham, where does uh, Sri Lanka stand at the end of the first day? I mean, what's what's the plan for tomorrow? I mean, where is you're just there six runs behind, and then Australia. Yeah, well, pretty clearly we're back to playing catch up. Unfortunately, um, we we found ourselves doing that in the in the last test, and we're desperate not to do it this time round. But we're, that's what it is. That's what it's going to take. Um, so tomorrow morning's first session is going to be extremely vital that we get in and and and, and bowl well and 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 hopefully strike early. Um, but it's as I said last test when you when you're playing catch up it is very much about taking it uh, one session at a time, fighting hard through that session and and then reassessing. Graham, uh, your thoughts on uh, firstly uh, Kumar Sangakkara's milestone, 10,000 runs, and also um, his performance today you seemed to be clearly your best batsman. Oh, he was outstanding today and played superbly well, and uh, you know I think everybody watching. Uh, thoroughly enjoyed uh, the elegance of the of the player. I mean, he really is um, something special when he plays like that. Uh, and to achieve what he's achieved is is, is absolutely amazing. Um, so for us, uh, although it was a, a disappointing day in many ways, uh, that uh, brought a lot of joy to to the to the the lads. Uh, he's very popular in the dressing room, and to see him achieve that, I think everybody is absolutely delighted.